Hi, got some new glorious non-content for you today as um, Paul and I, plus a friend of ours who has actually done some content for us in the past, went to London yesterday and spent far too much money at Forbidden Planet and one of the things I got was this. Hmm. So I thought, do an unboxing, show you the figure, do a sort of review of the quality and yeah, I mean to be honest the reason I got this is I love Assassin's Creed and I've always wanted the Industrial Revolution England one. Plus Evie's the best character in the game because Jacob's a massive twat. And for 30 quid this is actually pretty good. Normally a figure this size would be about 50, which is why I don't have any basically figures that size apart from my Kerrigan one, which again I got for about 20 quid a couple of years ago. So, I know the collectors out there are screaming at me not to open the box, but I spent 30 quid on this. I'm not just leaving it in the box. I'm not a collector, I like things just to be pretty and out on the shelf. So. Here it is in its lovely packaging. Of course, it's got all the lovely twists of plastic on the back for me to fumble around with. Oh. Got a pair of scissors on hand just in case, but it should be okay. She says with trepidation. <laughs> oh, I'm back in my room now, by the way. It's finally decorating is a uh, Finally done. So, here she is. So you've had a little bit of a look, a closer look at the Evie Fry statue from Ubisoft. It is the official one as far as I'm aware, it's said it cost me about £30 from Forbidden Planet. And I have to say, the detail on this is actually pretty nice. The only detail that I don't really like is her face. I don't know if you can really see, because this webcam is, is, you know, it's good for my purposes, but it's not exactly going to be like, oh my god, 4K resolution or anything. But uh, her face is not great, but all the detail here on her front with the buttons and the catches and... All that is really nice but what really actually impressed me was all the detail on the back actually really nice figure for 30 pounds as i said you, normally this sort of figure would be like 45 50 sometimes 60 pounds for a detailed figure like this so good purchase on my part and it's now going to sit on my shelf and look pretty hope you enjoyed this edition of glorious non-content hopefully the new ayatsu box will be arriving soon and i'll do that for you as well bye for now <laughs>